men are mine. Silly. <laughs> Did you doing too much again? Too much? <laughs> Not nearly enough. Who's up for a single malt breakfast? I'm sorry. If I don't sell something soon, I won't. I must watch. What was it you wanted to talk to me about? I can see that you are a busy man, Irishman. I can provide you with the tools you need to conduct your personal business. Yeah? Like what? Anything you need. Guns, ammunition, explosives. I supply these items to men like yourself, discreetly, and at a very reasonable price. <laughs> right. I don't suppose you take a personal check. <laughs> I'm afraid not. Then how do you expect me to pay for these wares of yours? Why, contraband, of course. German military supplies are best. There are Nazi installations all over the city. You will need heavy firepower to destroy them. Explosives, perhaps. My dealers offer you credit for any equipment you can salvage. German officers are another source of contraband. Of course, you'll have to kill them first. You can trade the contraband to my dealers for weapons and ammunition, even vehicles. I have people stationed all over the city 24 hours a day. Let me guess, I'll need to pay a fee to join this little club of yours. Well, yes, just a small donation to cover my expenses. Consider it an investment in your future. My friend Pierre here will provide you with a few things to get you started, free of charge, of course. I deal in weapons.
joint. Gunfire. Muy bien, Irishman. I think this is the beginning of a very profitable friendship. You are now free to trade with any black market dealer in this city. What is it now, Santos? You need some caviar to go with that champagne? <laughs> I have caviar coming out of my ears. Nobody wants that shit anymore. What good are fish eggs when a man's ribs are showing like a half-starved dog? Booze, cigarettes, morphine. That's where the money is. Thank the saints you're here to profit from the misery of others. Yes, I agree. We can't all live like peasants. Just because there is a war on, no? Take my good friend, General Lutz, for example. He wouldn't be caught dead driving around Paris in some peasant's car. Last week I offered to sell him an Italian limousine. And do you know what he said? I don't know. Bugger off? <laughs> that's right. He said he had already bought a limo from one of my competitors. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Truly. But not as sad as the look on General Lutz's face when he finds out that his prized car has been stolen! <laughs> Ah, stolen by a dastardly Irishman, I'll wager. Exactly! And won't the General be delighted when you sell him his own car back at twice the original price? You have a devious mind, Irishman. It is almost as if you have done this before. Uh-huh. So what's in it for me? You are a man who likes cars, no? Well, you could say I'm in the used car business. You do this for me, and your money will be good at any of my special garages throughout the city. Okay then, that's a deal. Must be around here somewhere. There's the car. Oh, she's a rare beauty. Let's see if I can get her back to Santos without ruining those good looks. Ich 
I hear General Lutz is in the market for a new set of wheels. <laughs> you have done this before, haven't you, Irishman? Me? Stealing cars? Oh, don't be ridiculous. I see. Well, just in case you ever need a place to store a car, stop by one of my garages. My customer service professionals can provide you with all kinds of quality services. Oh yeah? Like what? Body repairs, custom upgrades, vehicle storage, you name it. We will be happy to serve all of your automotive needs. For the right price, of course. Oh, that's grand. I'll see you around.